Insects are small, but when they work together, they can wreak havoc. An ant attack can have serious repercussions on bigger animals, and you'd be surprised to see what kind of animal ants can take on. Have you ever seen an ant attack a spider or a scorpion? What about a full-blown war between ants and termites? If you like watching extraordinary battles, you're at the right place as we count down 15 epic battles of ants and other insects. Weaver ants, like many ants, are colonial, so they hunt together in a big group, and these guys have a really nasty bite. Number 15. Ants Attacks Baby Birds This young hummingbird is finding out what it's like to deal with an ant invasion. Obviously, the way the bird is agitated, we can tell something is wrong. You can see some of the ants walking down the leaves and going into the nest. This is not a big bird, so the impact of the ants steeping into the nest is more pronounced. This ant pays a visit to these little birds, but it's hard to tell what it is doing. In the meantime, Mama Bird comes to feed her babies and doesn't notice anything weird. The ant steps onto one of the bird's beaks, but the bird moves immediately, disturbed by it. Mom feeds the birds a little more, and I don't know where the ant went. These chicks have just hatched. Both parents took off to find supper for their children. When they returned, they discovered ants biting their babies. Both parents assisted in removing the ants from the nest. They took their time pecking until the ants vanished. The parents then went out to get more food for their babies. Comes to the Animal Kingdom. If you want to see the latest confrontations between animals and the best animal videos, please subscribe now. We post new videos every day for your entertainment. Number 14. Ants vs. Lizard You can see these fire ants kill this lizard easily on this leaf. They just do it by numbers. One against a hundred does not usually cut it. Brazilian fire ants are just as invasive as the brown anna lizard in this video, which falls prey and is eaten by the fire ants. This lizard is placed in an aquarium with a few ants, and the ants are the aggressors, walking on the lizard and biting it. The lizard wants nothing to do with them and tries to avoid them, but they want more of the lizard. I don't know if this lizard is already dead, but it's not moving, and these ants take advantage of this and swarm the little reptile. Number 13. Ants Attack Snake and Bat The humid climate of Indonesia generates luscious greenery that serves as an ideal hunting ground for a variety of slithering, sneaky critters. The diversity of creatures in Indonesia is exceptionally large, which implies there are many potential prey items for these snakes. A striped keelback, one of the deadly serpents, has an ambush to bats. The snake's body is curled around its prey, and it isn't about to let go of this bat. Another challenger has entered the ring while the snake is distracted by the bat. When you look closely, you'll notice these ants aren't just scattering, they're attacking. It's a legion of predatory killer weaver ants, and they're posing a threat to both the snake and the bat. Weaver ants, like many other ants, are colonial, which means they hunt in large groups and have a severe bite. They'll exaggerate the bite's symptoms by spraying it with formic acid afterwards. The murderer serpent will not give up its well-earned prey but it is an excruciating pain from the hundreds of stinging bites it has received. The snake tries to drag the bat away from danger, but it is too heavy for it. There are just two options for the snake. Stay and finish the job or release the bat and lose its food. The snake bolts, fleeing to the safety of the brush, and the bat miraculously survives. As a result, the ants are the clear winners and the bat will live to see another day thanks to them. This snake enters no man's land when it slithers through an ant-infested area because a dead carcass attracts it. The ants attack the snake and cover its entire body in seconds. It looks like this snake is going to join the carcass that attracted it there in the first place. Another snake was attacked by an army of ants, and when this man picks the snake up, it looks alive. The man dips it in the water to remove the ants, and when he pulls it back out, the snake is squeaky clean and alive. The man lets the snake go, and it hides beneath the rocks. Here's one ant that is not afraid of snakes, and it takes its time exploring the snake's body. The snake's head is right next to the ant, but it doesn't react. The ant keeps pulling on the tail end of the reptile for some reason, and it almost seems like it's pulling the snake towards itself. Number 12. Ants vs. Termites Termites can build mounds that are over 17 feet tall. The rain is the termite's most dangerous foe. They can spend five years building a mound only for it to crumble over their heads after a heavy storm. Any damage to the mound is reported immediately to the workers, who immediately begin mending it while the warriors prepare to protect it. 
Termites are a prolific supply of food for ants, just as the bees are for the hornets. Ants are a termite's worst enemy in this aspect. Termite mounds are commonly penetrated, and they may even take up residence within them. Termites have little chance against an army of ants, so the only thing they can do is try to keep the ants out of the mound. Termites usually lose this battle, although they may be able to seal up a section of the nest and protect a piece of the colony on rare occasions. As food becomes scarce, the ants are forced to fight the nest's hungry grubs, who are not readily vanquished by termites. They are the ants' most dangerous foes, armed with chemical weapons and teeth capable of crushing an ant to pulp. But the ants have their own tricks up their sleeves. Ants warriors are experts in military warfare and tactics, and they are far too powerful for termites to manage. A fight between marauding ants and termites was staged by placing a petri plate containing termites on the ants' foraging habitat. The heads of termites are designed for combat, whereas the legs of driver ants are designed for speed. Both species are mortal adversaries, and if the two colonies collide, war will erupt, with only one hive likely to survive. When the residents discovered a termite and ant colony inside their home, they watched a struggle between a termite soldier in white armor at the top right and a brave ant when no one else dared to attack. The ant harmed the termite but limped away in defeat as the much larger termite slashed the smaller bug with its huge claws. A black-winged termite elate was violently assaulted by numerous ants in the lower center. Neither termite made it out alive. Number 11. Ant vs. Ant This ants war appears to be extremely unfair. One of the ants is double the size of the other, for example. When someone uses his finger to liberate the smaller ants, it scrambles in less than a second, knowing if it doesn't, it will become lunch for the larger ants. In one-on-one -on -one conflicts like these, harvester ants almost always win. On the other hand, ant warfare and rivalry are exceedingly complex. Except in perfect and undisturbed habitats, fire ants almost always become the dominant ant species in a region if other invading ants aren't present. When poisoning ant hills or performing ant control, be sure that only invasive species are poisoned. Killing native ants, like the massive red ants in this video, can allow invading ants, like fire ants, to take over. These red ants are engaged in a battle with a couple of black ants. As they swing and miss on the rim of this glass, they resemble swashbucklers. Although the red ants are significantly larger, this combat appears to be evenly matched. A trail of Eseton Buccelli army ants blocked the path of a leafcutter ant route in Costa Rica. The army ants keep the leafcutter ants away from the nest, allowing the army ant workers to return with food. The army ants are defending against the leafcutter ants like linebackers. They don't fight, but they seem to be threatening each other to keep the other ants away. A colony of ants decides to attack another colony. The defending colony soldiers come out to protect the land and fight off the raid, but in the face of such overwhelming odds, resistance is hopeless. Nothing is left untouched. This looks like the Battle of Falkirk. Number 10. Ants vs. Crab It is mass might versus hefty armor when a colony of army ants goes to war with a rainforest crab. Few sights are scarier to a rainforest critter than a colony of army ants on the move. It's possible that a quarter million ants are swarming through the woodland. Animals are fleeing to avoid them. With their powerful sting, they kill anything in their path. They have weapons such as a front and back needle that stabs repeatedly administering a paralyzing venom. Its sharp serrated mandibles individually cut and crush. They are fearsome combatants who always work as a team. The crab is protected by chitin fibers that are as flexible as human-made plastic, but are strengthened with rock-hard mineral crystals. His eight legs are covered with spikes, and he has a set of pincers that may inflict damage. Ants, on the other hand, are unconcerned about the size of the prey. Because they have so many hungry mouths to feed, they're practically eager to take anything they can get their hands on. It must be a terrible sight for the crab when the ants encounter it. Warriors try to overtake the crab and turn it over by biting its exposed eyes. The crab's pincers are useless against such small foes, and when the ants get to the meaty area, the crab will draw his final breath and wish he had never entered the ants' kingdom without permission. Number 9. Ants vs. Spider, Scorpion when these ants are challenged by a large wolf spider, they band together to attack the creature. Some ants grab the spider's legs, while others attack the spider's body. The ants appear to have overrun the spider. Why do the ants appear to be multiplying? 
I'm guessing the person filming this is tossing some in as the flight progresses. It appears the ants have defeated the large spider and are passing through a hole in the receptacle they're in. I suppose the spider is no longer alive, and it's time to eat. Other insects are barred from entering the realm of these green ants. Any breach is met with a hail of bullets. When green ants arrive, they do not bargain. They just show up in large numbers and take over. The queen and her faithful subjects are unimportant to the tree scorpion. The scorpion was discovered by a lone scout. Even though the scout is easily defeated, it has sent out a chemical distress signal. It's as though the colony's air raid siren is going off. To combat the huge intruder, troops are dispatched to the battleground. The ants use a cloud of formic acid as a weapon of mass destruction, like pouring molten lava on the scorpion's wounds. The scorpion keeps lashing out, and the scorpion's victims keep piling up. Medic ants tend to the wounded, but more soldiers arrive to replace the dead and dying. The onslaught crushes the scorpion's final defenses. The scorpion is entrapped and powerless to escape. The ants dismember the victim and parade it in the town square for all to see. When an army of green ants marches against a swarm of paper wasps, it's a battle fit for the big screen. Number 8. Ants vs. Bugs In our thumbnail, we can see ants each pulling a leg from this bug trying to dismember it. They remind me of wild dogs, and I would be worried if I was this insect. Only the nymphs of feather-legged assassin bugs are known predators who encourage their prey to assault them physically first. They lure the attackers, only to attack them afterwards. This bed bug should have stayed in bed instead of venturing outside. Now it's dealing with a bunch of crazy fire ants, and I think it won't see another bed in its lifetime. It does look kind of big for a bed bug though. A few ants versus assassin bugs. Who is going to win? The ants attack the assassin bug's legs, and one of the ants attacks the abdomen of the assassin bug. However, the assassin bug retaliates and kills a few of the ants. The guy running this experiment has had enough and cuts the assassin bug in half. Number 7. Epomus Beetle This beetle is devouring this frog alive in the struggle, and there appears to be nothing the frog can do. The frog can only hope it's over quickly as the beetle chews off sections of its body one by one. This bug is eating the back of this frog. This frog is being hunted by two bugs that were working together to kill it. I'm not sure why the frog is just sitting there immobile. There is practically nothing left when the beetles have finished devouring the frog. When you have the pomus beetle, who needs scavengers? Frogs, toads, and salamanders are lured into attacking the pomus beetles as larvae, then twist about and bury their massive hook teeth into the assailants, slowly draining their vitality. When the larvae mature into adult beetles, they restart their hunt for amphibians, but they are far more ferocious at this time. For instance, snipping a frog's leg muscles to prevent it from escaping. The beetle continues the assault even after the frog enters the water as seen in this video. The following video is amazing. This toad is attacked by an epomus beetle which paralyzes it so it can devour it. Observe how the process unfolds and you'll notice that the frog has become the beetle's lunch by the end of it all. It's astonishing how a small bug can eat straight through a larger one, and as you can see in this video, the frogs being attacked have no choice but to watch the beetle devours them. It acts like a parasite initially, sucking its prey's bodily fluids. The mandibles then enter the picture and it begins to munch. Only bones are left in the end. The beetle is always victorious. Number 6. Bird Eater the Goliath Bird Eater is the world's largest spider in terms of weight. Despite having larger legs, the huge Huntsman Spider is much lighter. Although this massive tarantula is known as a bird eater, this is a bit of a misnomer. Goliath Bird Eaters rarely, if ever, consume birds. On the other hand, Goliath Tarantulas have a ravenous appetite. They eat giant insects, worms, and various amphibians. On rare occasions, they may even catch a lizard, a snake, or a little rat like the one in this video. The rat is aware it is in danger and is frantically scurrying around, attempting to array the spider. But it is only a matter of time before the spider kills it. Goliath bird eaters do not consume birds daily because they live on the ground. The Goliath's venom is deadly to small animals, but not to humans. The sting would be like a wasp sting. From its 11 inch limb reach to its lethal venom, which makes its victim organs shut down and self digest, everything about the Goliath bird eater is big and terrifying. This small gecko rapidly learns not to mess with the goliath, but it's too late when the spider snatches it. Even though this camel spider is much smaller than this Brazilian salmon pink bird eater tarantula, 
they meet in this aquarium for the first time. The combat is fierce, and the caramel spider is putting up a good fight against the tarantula. Not only that, but it also kills the tarantula and starts eating it. I suppose it's safe to say that size doesn't always matter. Number 5. Assassin Bug Assassin bugs may pique your interest, and you may wonder if they bite. After all, their name is intriguing. To put it frankly, yes. Some bite to devour, while others bite to defend themselves when provoked. You don't want to get bitten by an assassin bug in any situation. All you must do is acknowledge that if name it's self-explanatory to figure out. These bugs are not only carriers of Chagas disease, but also killers and tricksters. A millipede is being attacked by these assassin bugs. Until a second assassin bug joins the fight, it's just one assassin bug doing all the fighting. A third one arrives to help and the millipede fights them off. The assassin bugs appear to have the situation under control as the rest of the crew arrives and the centipede is overwhelmed. This caddy did attacks an assassin bug, but the bug continues to do what it does best, assassinate. A bug's life is usually short, lasting only a few months, days, or weeks if they are lucky enough to live that long. There are no retirement houses during the life of a bug. When a dreaded earwig and a bee killer assassin bug encounter in the middle of the night, one life will be changed forever. A camel spider is a formidable opponent for this assassin bug, and the spider wastes no time. The assassin bug is flipped over and given a taste of its own medicine. You'd be correct if you call this assassin bug a ferocious murderer. The assassin bug has only one objective in life, to suck the blood out of another organism from the minute it is born. The fruit bat should suffice. The bug punctures the bat's wingtip with its needle-like nose, and then the nymph gorges itself to fill up like a gasoline tanker truck filling up with fuel. This millweed assassin beetle paralyzes its prey by injecting it with immobilizing toxins. In this video, the unfortunate victim is a stink bug. Number 4. Ants vs. Bees The territory of the bees was overrun by red weaver ants. The bees fiercely resisted at this crucial period, but red ants deftly attacked the beehive, murdering the honeybees. I'm surprised the ants can attack bees. I mean, the bees are also numerous, so why are the ants giving them so much trouble in this video? It's difficult to tell exactly what is happening, except for the fact that the beetle is violent and deadly. These ants attack a single beetle, and the bee is turned over and not in a good position. I think these ants are going to execute this bee. These crazy green ants attack and eat these bees. You can see each bee is covered by dozens of ants. It's an all-out invasion, and it's clear the bees are being annihilated. During this battle between bees and ants, you can see casualties on the battlefield from both sides. It's not a pretty sight, and one always wonders why the leaders of these armies can't make peace. Number 3. Ants vs. Cockroach This cockroach was put in a jar with a bunch of ants, and it didn't take long before the ants began the destruction of the cockroaches. I'm just wondering what pleasure the guy doing this gets out of watching ants kill a cockroach. This cockroach looks like he's doing some sit-ups with an ant standing on his legs. But the cockroach doesn't like the fact the ant is working out right next to him. He tries to kick it out of there, but the ant keeps coming back for more. Two cockroaches go into battle against a horde of ants, and besides being outnumbered by the ants, the cockroaches are isolated and can't work together. I don't see these cockroaches escaping this attack. This cockroach is being eaten alive by these ants. The little guys are all over the pest and biting chunks of meat out. That can't feel too good. Number 2. Wasp vs. Caterpillar Wasps consume many caterpillars and other garden pests. A single small nest of wasps may quickly eradicate an entire pound of insects from a backyard garden. Hey, that's a lot of garden pests you'll never have to deal with. This poor caterpillar is trying to escape the grip of this wasp, but the wasp seems to be too powerful. Caterpillars don't have much of a defense system, and when this wasp attacks it, it just absorbs the blows until it perishes. Black wasp has their own tactic and methods when it comes to pest control. The wasp inject a single egg into each pot's body, and this means a slow death for the creature as the wasp's egg grows inside it. A cabbage looper pupa gets attacked by an Inchnumon parasitoid wasp in this short video. They're parasitic wasps that lay their eggs within the aphids as well as wasps that just devour the aphids. The tiny larvae gnaw their way out of the aphids when the egg hatch. 
Wasps, both large and small, hoverflies, ladybugs, and lacewings are all possibilities. Number 1. Ants vs. Giant Hornets When an Australian bull ants and a European wasp collide, what happens? This clip was captured in Australia's Kosgitsko National Park, where the European wasp is a problem that is being managed as an imported species due to its lack of predators. But this ant is giving it a pretty good fight nonetheless, and in the end, it's the ant that triumphs. Who said they don't have any predators? Ants rule! We just saw one ant kill a giant hornet, so you can imagine how this giant hornet is feeling in this video, when he is swamped by a company of ants attacking from all sides. This is the end for this giant's hornet. This oak tree is oozing something sweet, and it attracts these giant hornets. When an ant comes looking for the nectar, the hornets attack it, but the ant is no pushover and stands her ground. In the end, a hornet carries the ant away, but doesn't kill it. It probably admired how well it fought. It's amazing how big the tiny world of insects is. My favorite has to be the ants in general and how they attack their enemies. Which one do you prefer? Why don't you let us know in the comment section below? So, there you have it. Our countdown of 15 epic battles of ants and other insects. Please leave us a like and let us know in the comments what you think if you appreciated this video. Check out our other videos and join in the fun by subscribing. To see our new videos as soon as they're uploaded, click the notification icon. For the time being, that's all there is to it.